was a place with all the sick of new Kakana. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Full and Force DLC Nuka World. My name's Camel and this video is going to be a walkthrough guide in which I will show us how to acquire and use the Kami Whacker, a rare melee weapon introduced with the Nuka World DLC. So of course, yes, you will need the Nuka World DLC installed to acquire this weapon. So first of all, there are three in the game. The first two can be found inside the Nuka Cade. On the Pipway map, the Nuka Cade can be found right about in the middle of Nuka Town, USA. Now once inside, we want to head to the back. Once at the back, chuck a left and enter the room with several Red Menace gaming arcade machines. In here, lying on the ground in front of these Red Menace machines, we will be able to find two Commie Whackers. Feel free to grab them both. And to get the third Commie Whacker, we will need to come to the Nuka World Junkyard. And on the Pipway map, the Nuka World Junkyard can be found kind of southwestern area of the Nuka World DLC. Once here, we need to head into the shed-like building. Once we're in this building, head to the northern side. And on a table, along with two broken Kami rockets, will be the Kami Whacker. Of course, the third Kami Whacker. Now, before modding out the Kami Whacker and checking out its base stats, as always, I have reduced my character's special attribute stats to one. I also have no bobblehead perk or magazine effects applied to my character. What this means is we will be seeing the absolute minimum base stats of the Kami Whacker. Now, once we head to a weapons work bench to mod out the Kami Whacker, there will only be one modification slot and only one modification to go in that slot, which is of course the bladed modification. This makes targets bleed and provides exceptional damage. And once we have modded out the Kami Whacker with the bladed modification, well, first of all, we have the most ridiculous weapon I've ever seen. Along with that, as we can see, it has a base ballistic damage of 18. Its swing speed is medium. Its weight is only three pounds. Despite the fact, to begin with, it is a huge hammer and that it now has five very thick circular saw blades tied to it. But again, despite all this, yes, it's only three pounds and its value is 37 caps. And once it has been modded out this way, as we can see up the top, it is now called the bladed Kami Whacker. Now straight out of the gate, I will say that the Kami Whacker is probably more of a collectible weapon than one you want to use in say a very serious survival build or something of the sort. Even fully modded out, it only had a base ballistic damage of 18 and once fully perked out, it only had a damage of about 156, which isn't too bad, but it's not too good, and there are much more powerful melee weapons to choose from. The Kami Whacker is also robbed of any seriousness as soon as you see its appearance. To begin with, it's a huge, goofy looking mace, club, hammer, whatever you want to call it. Or if you really want to get technical, I suppose we could call it a Whacker. Then strap five circular saw blades onto it, and it just looks silly. Which, to be honest, is good. I like that. Also, once it does have this bladed mod on it, when the Kami Whacker is drawn, and you're in first person view, it takes up almost half of the screen. It's massive. So although it may be whacking commies, it is actually oppressing my vision. Now, not that you'll really notice with the bladed mod, but just a bog standard unmodded version of the Kami Whacker, I did notice had an incredibly low resolution on the texture. And again, on a bog standard unmodded Kami Whacker, you will notice there is a word that goes across the middle of it. This is democracy. Now this word, democracy, combines with the white, red, and blue colors of the Kami Whacker come together to make the weapon a beacon of contrast against the Kami scum and their dirty ideologies. Now, something else I did notice, some of the kill animations while using this weapon are really crazy. I don't know if they updated the animations for one-handed medium swing speed weapons like a pipe wrench, but again, using the Kami Whacker in-game, I did experience uh, like f at least five new kill animations that I've never seen before in Fallout 4. And don't forget, I've been playing this game pretty much every day since it came out. So to say that I've never seen them before, that's a pretty big thing. So I don't know if these kill animations are specific to the Kami Whacker, or again, if they just updated the medium one-handed melee weapon kill animations. Either way, it is incredibly fun to use purely for the ridiculously fantastical finishing move sequences. So at the end of the day, or at the end of the war, the Kami Whacker isn't bad. 
bad. But there are most certainly plenty of other melee weapons that I would suggest you use over the Kamiwacker. And again, that's not to say the Kamiwacker's bad. And if you're not worried about using it seriously, I would suggest that you go and grab the Kamiwacker right now and have a bit of fun with it. And uh, of course, just for me, be sure to whack some filthy commie scum with it. In game, of course. And because there's nothing funny about communism, I can't think of any puns. Here it is, the commie whacker in action. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel, and this has been my guide for the Fallout 4 Nuka World weapon known as the Kami Wacker. I do hope this video helped you out in some way. And if it did, I think you will be very interested in clicking on the playlist button on screen. This, of course, will take you directly to my Fallout 4 Guides playlist where you can select the videos you wish to watch freely. Or you can check in the description where it will be frequently updated with links to new Fallout 4 Guides that I upload. If you agree with Liberty Prime, that democracy is the essence of good, then please feel free to follow me on Twitter. The link can be found in the description or you can search Camelworks on Twitter. And with all of this said, I would like to thank you very much for watching. It has been an absolute pleasure having you here whacking commies with me. And I will see you very shortly in the next video, okay? I'll see you there in a second.